Hi YouTube friends. It's kind of late in the evening and I'm getting ready to make our salad for tonight. And I was out in the yard. It's just such a beautiful night. And I want to share with you some of the greens that you can eat that are out, at least in my yard. And you could find these in a lot of yards, a lot of places. Uh, one is the mustard greens in the brassica family, which I'll show you the leaves. And another is a cress called a bitter cress. And I'm going to show you these. And that way you can check these out for yourself and see if it's something you want to add to your salads. It's getting kind of dark out here, but we have this plant here. This is a cress, and I believe this one's called bitter cress. And you see how it kind of has that circular shape with the leaves low on the bottom. Now these flowers right here are edible. These are the bitter cress flowers and they taste peppery, kind of mustardy. So I'm going to collect a lot of these. Now these these bitter cress flowers, they just taste so good in a salad. And these grow in our lawn. I tend to let them, I tend to just let them grow. I don't mow the lawn very often because our lawn is pretty wild. We don't we don't worry about mowing everything. We might mow six or seven times a year. And maybe our neighbors don't like it very much, but I kind of like the free food that comes with having a lawn like this. Now the greens, they're not really, they're not really doing their thing yet, so they're still kind of really small. The greens are still kind of really small to eat. They're delicious too. You can eat all parts of the all the aerial parts of these these cresses. So now I'm gonna find well there's some dandelion here. Dandelion's always good. So especially the young leaves. The young leaves of dandelion are tasty. They're tender and they're not real strong. So that's when you want them. And you can pick as many as you want because they, they know how to come back. They know how to, see here's my, I brought a bunch of greens in already and I thought I'd take this opportunity to make a video for you. And let me find the cress or the mustard that I was eating earlier. And here it is. This is the mustard. And you could tell it's in the brassica family. See that, that shape of the leaves is very mustard like almost like what you would see in some of the spring green mixes that you get except the only thing different is these are extremely high in nutrients and vitamins and things like that phytochemicals because they're grown wild in the soil and they're picked fresh and we're going to eat them you know within 10-15 minutes of me picking them so these just grow all over the place and down by the lake where we are uh, you can these mustard greens grow and there's also the yellow mustard flowers on on particular ones that you can eat the flowers too you can eat all the aerial parts of mustard and let me see here we have more of the mustard right here and the leaves are young and tender so even though they're tiny they're so nutrient dense that it's really, it's worth picking them. Even though it's a small addition to the salad, it's a high nutrient addition to the salad. And we just had a really good rain last night, so everything is so clean and so nice. So you don't have to worry about anything. Sometimes there's dirt splashed up because the rain was pretty hard. And uh, and this sink foil, I'm not sure about this. I have to check into that and see if that's okay. It's called sink foil. And you see how it's here, five leaves, cinco. Cinco, one, two, three, four, five, like a hand. It's like a palmate leaf, kind of like a hand. Five. And there's the palmate. But I have to check into that one. I think that's edible, but I'm not sure. And I don't, if I'm not sure of something, 
if I'm not sure of something, I don't eat it. I make sure I, I read the books and I actually go to maybe two or three books and and make sure. I'm pretty good with plants, but that's because I'm married to a really good naturalist who's been doing that for a living. He grows plants for a living, so. So I learned a lot from him, plus my herb classes and things like that. So, signing out. I hope you got something out of this video. If you like this kind of video, hit like. And if you, you want more of these type of videos, like the wild edible type things, I can get into that more for sure. Have a great night. Enjoy your dinner. I know I'm going to enjoy mine. Take care. Bye.